Last time I did this like this was at my bar mitzvah. So somebody said to me, you know, how'd you get started doing this? I said, my mother threw a bar mitzvah for me and she hired Mike Douglas the, from the Mike Douglas show. And he uh, emceed my bar mitzvah for 50 bucks because he'd never been to a Jewish party before. <laughs> nice Irish Catholic boy from Chicago. And uh, I've got a picture that I showed uh, to Ron de Blasio and his wife that says, you ad lib. Someone says, when did you get started? I said, my bar mitzvah. And it says, what do you mean? I said, I've got a photo for Mike that says, you ad lib very well. So when Mitch and I talked about this, I thought this was really cool. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this on time. I was telling him stories that he said, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. One of my favorite uh, Spinal Tap stories, uh, I saw the movie in 84, and I walked into Moe's office. I saw it on a Sunday night, and I went into Moe Austin's office on a Monday morning. The movie had just come out that weekend, and I said, I have to leave. And he said, why? I said, I just watched my whole life last night. I was with, <laughs> I was with Tony, Le Tony Levin and Robert Fripp from King Crimson said, let's go to the Beverly Center and see this new movie, Spinal Tap. I'd already had lived Spinal Tap. I had worked for a guy named Bob Regeer, who Bob Merlis, who's here, we all worked with Regeer, who was amazing. And he would send us out on missions. Uh, but before I did artist development, uh, I did local promotion for Warner and Elektra out of Cincinnati but I had a bad habit of running away with the band, so they eventually moved me into artist development. But before that happened, uh, David Geffen had taken over Electra Asylum. They had signed a new band called the Capital City Rockets. Has anyone ever heard of the Capital City Rockets? RCA. No, no Electra. Electra. Who was the lead singer? Does anyone know who the lead singer of the Capital City Rockets was? For all, what? No. <laughs> For, and, and not, Ma, Ma, not Mattis Yahoo, was it Mattis Yahoo? Uh, anybody? For $100, no. So the lead singer of this group, the Capital City Rockets, was a guy named Jamie Lyons. He'd been in a band called The Music Explosion. They had a song called A Little Bit, Little Bit of Soul. Do, 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 you know the song. So the band's album cover was sort of like the Bay City Rollers after, uh, with a uh, uh, roller derby theme. But they looked like the band, they looked like they'd been beaten to death. So the cover was them, they're black and blue, so someone had the bright idea to rent out a, a skating rink in Columbus, Ohio, at the United Skates of America. And the idea was that we would all fly in from all over the country, I think they spent about 150,000, believe it or not, on this party. And we would skate for a while, and then at the end of uh, one of the uh, ends of the roller rink, there was a bandstand set up, and the band would play, and this would be their big debut. But you have to keep it really, really mysterious, because you know, this is rock and roll, and we don't want the band to be too accessible. So they were told to stay away until nine o'clock when they were gonna play. So they stayed away till nine, 9.15, 9.30, at 9.45, the bass player and the drummer come in. Where's Jamie and the lead guitar player? They decided to stay away in a bar. They got drunk. They got into a fist fight. They beat each other up, and the band broke up. <laughs> and we all kept skating. And that was the debut party for the Capital City Rockets, which album never came out. Thank you.